This is Yahoo Finance's coverage of CES 2022 presented by Verizon. I'm Dan Howley, and we're here with Google VP of Engineering, Eric K. Eric, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, and I just kind of want to jump right to it as far as Google's announcements at CES. I know that you guys are talking about a number of significant software changes uh, across the board for Google's disparate consumer items, really making sure that they all kind of communicate better, form a, a more cohesive whole of an ecosystem. I guess if you just want to kick off and give us an idea uh, of some of the changes and we can just take it from there. Uh, thanks, Dan. Uh, yeah, we're building on, on our work from, uh, from Google I.O. this past year and introducing uh, even more simple and helpful ways uh, you know, uh, multi-device experiences, uh, things that will help it make it easier to set up and connect your devices, uh, to lock and unlock them for easier, more secure access, uh, to get more things done as you're moving from device to device. Uh, and for the first time, we're bringing some of these experiences uh, to Windows-based PCs. So I, I know, you know, obviously Windows and Android kind of, when you're a Windows user, you're probably uh, an Android user and vice versa. What, what kind of ways are you making it so that it's easier to, I guess, say, you know, maybe message people or, or things along those lines when you're going from your phone to your PC. Right, so the initial features we're, we're gonna be bringing to Windows will be um, uh, file sharing through nearby share so that you can more easily move files back and forth between your, your Android devices and, and uh, your PC, as well as fast pair so that you can uh, use your, your peripherals like headphones and uh, more, more quickly connect them across both your Android device and your, and your PC. Uh, but we're looking forward to bringing uh, many of the same experiences, uh, the rest of the experiences that we have in Chrome OS today to Windows over time as well. And I know, you know, one of the things uh, obviously with fast pairing uh, is that it just incredibly improves convenience of setting up uh, a pair of wireless earbuds uh, like the Pixel Buds. Uh, you know, what kind of thinking goes into that? How is it going to be easier? And will we see it across multiple devices uh, as far as what you'll be able to pair with? Yeah, absolutely. So we're we're also bringing fast pair to um, to Android TV and Google TV. So um, as well, and, and we're we're expanding fast pair beyond just setting up uh, you know hearables uh, earbuds, but also using it to actually set up other devices like your Chromebook, like your uh, Wear OS watch, uh, so that that fat and and even your smartphone connected devices through Matter. So so basically, fast pair becomes. Uh, the, the great simple UI for, for connecting and uh, sharing your devices. I guess, what would the setup be like for that? Would, would I take out my phone and it would <clears> talk to my, my Chromebook and it would say, you know, okay, you're Dan, uh, let's yeah. just grab everything about you and put it on uh, the Chromebook the way you, you just kind of want to have it. And then, you know, you're ready to rock. Well, so the way you know you, you've experienced it with, with, with earbuds is as soon as you uh, turn on those earbuds for the first time, uh, a little you know, pop-up shows up on your phone and it recognizes that device and just makes it, you know, one or two taps and you've got it set up. So if you imagine the same thing happening with a Chromebook, uh, you know, it'll automatically push over your Wi-Fi credentials and get your account credentials on there ready to go. So essentially just with a couple of taps on your phone, uh, you're ready to go with your new Chromebook or your new watch. So it really kind of takes the, the issue of setup and I have to enter, you know, all these different uh, logins or, you know, 8,000 different passwords, which I don't remember. Uh, it'll it'll <laughs> make right. it a little bit easier there. Yeah, absolutely. And I, you know, I, one of the things that I know that you know Google has talked about in the past has been working with automotive. Uh, you know, there's some announcements that you guys have there as far as being able to access your vehicle through your phone. What what can you tell us? And you know, when can we expect to see that uh, from different auto manufacturers? Well, Android for Cars, uh, you know, has always been, you know, a multi-device experience and having a lot of deep connections with your phone. Um, what we're announcing today is um, is automotive actions for the assistant. So basically, from any assistant-enabled device, uh, you're going to be able to to talk to, communicate with with uh, with you know with your car. Uh, so, for example, I can check, uh, you know, you know, I could warm up my car without leaving my home, or I could check to see what the charge level is in the battery or if the doors are locked or unlocked. Uh, you're gonna see this coming first with select mobile cars in, um, uh, in, in 2022 and uh, more, more cars over, over time. So I'll just be able to say, you know, hey Google, and I'm making sure that I don't have any uh, Google devices lit up right now so it doesn't just kick on, but you'd be able to say something like, hey Google, you know, uh, start my car, 
uh, get the, the, the air conditioner going uh, or get the heater going here in New York. Uh, and it would kind of work along those lines, similar to basically saying, hey, Google, turn the lights on or get you know my air conditioner going at home. Is, is that kind of how it would work? Exactly, exactly. So just like the rest of your smart connected home, uh, you know, the car becomes uh, part of part of that fabric. Okay, great. Well, Eric Hay, VP of Engineering at Google, thank you so much for joining us. I really appreciate it. Thanks, Dan.